So now to present the award for the wild card category, Lindsay Chester, who was also a Nexties winner in the past. And you missed out on a wild card too. So Ooh. I hear that this theme of this evening is some kind of performance piece. I've seen ball dropping, I have seen singing operas, I've seen everything. So um, I'm gonna pull from my musical theater background. I'm executive director of children's nonprofit All About Theater here in Santa Cruz, representing 14 years. And I feel like I should do a little bit of, you know, June solo. Let me entertain you, let me make you smile. And that's it for this evening. Um, the rest of it hopefully is a sort of half decent speech. Um, I stand up here and I wanna say thank you, Matthew, and everybody part of Event Santa Cruz. Thank you everybody here in this audience for just being exquisite individuals that you all are. I'm elated every time I manage to come into this room. I missed last year a personal family thing. My father-in-law passed away, but he was here when I was an XD winner and coming back in, into this room again sort of re-nurtured and reinvigorated a lot of that memory and a lot of what I'm about to talk about. Um, I have a five-year-old. She was the cute little blonde who couldn't keep her eyes off the fairies. <laughs> She's the one that said, Mom, catch you later, and carried on walking. And I'm like, dude, there's like 50,000 people in this room, and I can't even see you. And everyone's like, she's fine. And so she basically went fairy hunting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all laughing down there. They're like, well, few of them are back here, but yeah. Um, part of what I want to just do before I introduce Happily Ever Laughter, firstly, they've been around 10 years. <laughs> Woo! They are not a first timer to performance. One of the things that really kind of inspired me when I read about them was the fact that they have a family and a community greater than obviously um, what you would initially think. They're not just contractors. They're actually employers and friends and a community in and of themselves. And it sort of represents the whole events that we're doing right now, the whole next day event and event Santa Cruz where we are a big family. We're all in this together. We are connected through more than just a river and a demographic of a highway through the blood that runs through our veins and through the political <clears throat> BS that's going on right now. And so Santa Cruz is this melting pot. Obviously my accent's really local. <laughs> and so I think of it as a nurturing environment where we all can break away from the bullshit of reality. Imagination ignites passion. Imagination and our thoughts basically are our future. Imagination stimulates creativity and innovation. Imagination is magical. Reality can really suck. Yeah. Albert Einstein had it right when he said, and I quote, reality is merely an illusion, <laughs> albeit a really persistent one. So in choosing to use our imaginative muscles, these things in our brain that when we get older, we worry about paying the bills and all that crap that we have to do and put the kid to bed and feed them and change their diaper and then get more to school and maybe college and who knows, maybe retire somehow in there. Um, we suddenly forget that when we use this muscle, it creates hope. When we use the muscle of imagination, we remember that where there's hope, there is ultimately an opportunity for transformation and change. So when I think of these two things that are highly necessary for us to create a better world for many, many generations to come, not just this one, it leaves me with the quote from Albert Einstein, I'm enough of an artist to draw freely on my imagination, which I think is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited. Imagination encircles the world. From the heart and the eyes of a five-year-old, let's hear it from Happily Ever After. And who can't keep their eyes off these? They're amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Look, it's to drink all of the beer you drink out of. <laughs> After 10 years, you get a cup. <laughs> Hi, I'm Faye. I'm Violet. We, um, we're part of a, a whole mess of fun called Happily Ever Laughter. <laughs> I'd like you to raise your hand if you've been trapped into going to a birthday party this weekend. Go, yeah. We'll be right there with you. 
<laughs> four of them, actually. Four. A hundred yeah. of them. A hundred of them. We're going to a hundred birthday parties this week. Well, no, we're not. It's, uh, yeah, no. There's, there's 127, I think, and we will not be personally appearing at all of them. I promise. We have a children's entertainment company that sends magic <laughs> into your living room or into your front lawn or... We never get past the front door because mom wants her face painted like a tiger, and I understand. <laughs> um, but we don't do it alone. There are 50 of us, and I would like you to meet some of the most wonderful people in the world. Here's part of them, crumb fairies. <laughs> <laughs> This is what it looks like when you become a fairy princess when you grow up. Mm -hmm. Or the elf. Yeah, that, that flagship elf, yeah. Elf. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, it's, it's a very strange day when you, when you get to go, Mom, Dad, thank you so much for helping me go to boarding school and to like to several different colleges and like getting a literature degree and I'm really excited about it but I need to tell you that I found this woman on Craigslist and she seems really legit and I'm just gonna go to the woods and I'm gonna interview with her and it's gonna be really wonderful and then I'm gonna be a fairy princess for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> but now I have a 401k, so. <laughs> Let's hear it for the internet. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, but to wrap this up, we've been rocking it as fairy princesses for about 10 years, which is so fun. Um, myself and 50 other people, actually there have been 250 fairies who've been here. Uh, we have entertained half a million children. <laughs> Thank we you can't children. wait to meet yours. Um, but uh, this award and the cup uh, makes you think about what is it that we actually do? We have no idea. <laughs> But we do know that we're really, really, really good at having fun. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's time for some fun. Mm -hmm. So I'd like you to take a deep breath. Okay. And I'm going to sing you a song. I know it's so cheesy. <laughs> the good thing is, is you don't know it. And no, you don't no. either. No. It goes no. like this. You are my sunshine, my only sun. I'd like you to stop. <laughs> Sorry. That's it's a Faye song. Only Faye knows my the song. song. Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm going to try again. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. This is when you're supposed to be singing along because you're grown-ups and you understand the joke. Dear, dear how, how much I love. I'm so okay. sorry. I'll stop you one more time. You do know it. this song? Raise yeah. both hands if you know this song. Great job. Take a deep breath. I'd like you to sing along. Ready? You are my, my sunshine, sunshine, my only sunshine. sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Oh my gosh, I sang it wrong. I'm so sorry. Um, high five. Dude, we made grown-ups sing. Ciao. <laughs>